きたきたきたよー Climbing doesn't just evolve, it mutates with mind bending breakthroughs at six points of transformation. Six. Harder, bolder, faster, newer, damage control, and creative. These are the six ways we blow down the borders and break through to new levels of power, performance, and experience. Breakthrough is about changing the mind and changing the world. It's about seeing with new eyes, tearing down the self made prisons of the past. It's about mobilizing the guts and brains to go a new way. Put it all on the line and make it real. There are many masters of stone in this world. These are some of the best. Some are dirt bags living out of a van. Some have jobs and families and carry the burdens of the world. But every one of them loves the stone, loves the gravity dance, and lays it on the line, season after season, aiming for one more breakthrough. Tell me there's no hope. Don't try and what's the purpose? Did you ever stop to think the answer lies beneath the surface? You tell me there's no hope, so I'm trying, what's the use? When your hair manifests on me, what will be your excuse? I'm not gonna sit around, wait for my world to change. Would you really give up before you had a chance to play the game? Doing in the gym is I'm trying to mimic being on the nose of El Cap for two or three hours, just working as hard as I can, climbing as much as I can in that short amount of time. What we got here is my workout score sheet. How do you train for El Cap without being on El Cap? You get two points for every five six you do, ten points for every five nine you do, fifty points for every five twelve. So we figured that 1,500 points is about the same as climbing El Cap. I don't know why it worked out that way. It's about you know, two feet for every point. So if you do say 30, 5, 12, that's the same as climbing El Cap. And you try to do it in under three hours because the record is under three hours. And then you got your exercises here. You get uh, one point for every three push ups, one point for every five sit ups. And then pull ups, it's an even go. That's the king swing. One pull up for one pull up. So if you can do 1500 pull ups in three hours, you can probably do the nose faster than me. And then you have something I don't really like to delve into too much. That's the bouldering. Four oh. past the pancake, Blake. You get two points for every V0 you do. Ooh, 100 points for every V9 you do. So if you can do 15 V9s in three hours, you can do El Cap faster than me. 
Breakthrough point number one is the new. New routes, new styles, and new climbers, full of hope and infinite possibilities. So I picked up the Tahoe guide when it came out, and I saw a picture of the boulder I'm sitting under right now, and it's called The Punisher. And Chris McNamara wrote the book and called it the most inspiring line you'd see in Tahoe. And being a resident, I took his word for it. So I uh, decided to come check it out, and sure enough, from the setting to the line to the moves, it, I don't think it can be beat. Minus 35 feet, maybe, maybe even 40 at the top. The crux is about 15 feet up and then you pull the lip and then it's another 20 feet of climbing or so. So it's up there for sure, but the holds are good enough that you just try to focus on that as opposed to the bushes. For me, this is one of the coolest lines that I've done. And on the inspiration scale, for me, it's a 10. I got up at 3.50 this morning to come climb this rock. I mean, it takes a 10 to, to do that. I, I'm not a morning person. I had a lot of coffee. <laughs> When you're six years old and about four feet tall, a 15-foot root is a serious highball. <laughs> so, Dad, is the strongest climber the best climber? Buddy, there's strong climbers and bold climbers and people that just climb on plastic. Myself, I like to go way out where nobody's been and climb on stuff that nobody goes on. Cool. The Yosemite Decimal System rates each route for its difficulty. But climbing is more than physical. It's a living connection to the natural world. Maybe it's time for an additional rating. The Yosemite Inspirational System. A scale of 1 to 10, where a 1 is a choss pile in a hacked out quarry, and a 10 is a route like this one on Ribbon Falls. New route specialist Sean Jones has more first ascents in Yosemite than anyone else, including golden agers like Robbins and Bridwell. And Jones is still hunting new lines. for the bus. Okay. How many times have you slogged up this hill? Probably in the 50th zone for this route. You've gone through how many partners? It would be about the sixth partner at this point. Still coated, locked and loaded, and one to go. On the way. Climbing. 
This is my 91st first ascent in Yosemite. Better make the next nine kind of good because this one's a bit hard to beat. corner super slick and hard it's like glass if there was any friction or texture at all a few edges for god's sake it'd be potentially 510 most of the time there's just nothing though feet are up high cranking hard and you really never know when they're going to skate off feet of live ass right side forever you get capped with that thing yeah. all right what's that uh 11 to go Breakthrough creativity is the soul of climbing. This sport and its offshoots keep advancing and expanding because people keep inventing new ways to crank it up. Corbin Usinger saw a new place to walk the line, 5,000 feet above the ground, probably the highest high line ever walked. Ladies and gentlemen, Corbin Usinger. <laughs>
Matt Madaloni turned a free solo death fall into a playground with a fishing net. Austin Majors has spent most of his young life developing an arsenal of momentum-based free-running techniques. When he puts them on the granite, it's like creating a whole new sport. climbing, I really didn't have any experience, uh, so it, it kicked my ass at first. I, uh, I was sometimes um, working as hard on, on a 5.6 as I was used to uh, like uh, be worked on like 5.13 sport climb. But it opened my eyes how much potential was left to be learned. Do you, you want to close your eyes? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that would be enough. This little technique makes me able to go just a little bit further. I have better mindset, more focus, and I feel like my body has more oxygen to go. Just that little thing that makes a difference between sometimes sending or not. Nico Favres made an old route new by ignoring the bolts and placing all natural pro. It didn't make the route too much harder, just a lot more run out. And the techniques and metal toughness he developed here opened the way to his huge new first free ascents in Patagonia, Trango, and the east wall of El Cap. People around you that believe in you, that can give you that energy, is for me what makes me push myself to that little bit that makes me send the hardest thing I could. I was working, building a big steel frame, 
it's the hook on the chain slipped out and I was kind of surprised and fell backwards and my foot went right under this thing that was about three tons and splat it um, just crushed my foot beyond repair breakthrough damage control is about keeping it together and pressing on no matter how hard the hits In the latest Yosemite facelift, climbers and rangers together removed 41,600 pounds of trash and construction debris from more than 100 years of use and abuse in Yosemite National Park. Almost none of it from the climbers themselves, but it's a little damage control, and it goes a long way towards peace. Nothing bad about cleaning up trash in the park, you know, so everybody's supportive for the project. And it's not as if climbers worry about getting our hands dirty. Enduro climb for a really, really long way. It's awkward to a super hard top out, which is kind of a scary. It's one of the most beachy and roof cracks in the world. I was eating broccoli. <laughs> Sometimes I eat some carrots when I was really getting wild and crazy. And so Evo's eating candy, hamburgers, ice cream, soda. If I ate one thing of those items, I would gain. 9,000 pounds instantaneously. And Evo eats them all day long. It makes me really bitter. <laughs> <laughs> so last year I ate probably over 500 sneaker bars and maybe 300 ice creams. It's been good. Harder is the most obvious breakthrough in climbing. In the 1950s, 5'9 was as hard as it got. Then 5'10 came along, then 11 as today's ratings edge into mid 515 no one can argue that climbing isn't breaking through to harder territory but there are many kinds of harder and the beauty of this sport is that all of us have our own hardest send just waiting around the corner for steph davis harder means the brutal endurance demands of an 80 foot long dead horizontal off-size roof crack with a desperate finish
pain. Yuji Hirayama has been World Cup champion twice and speed record holder on the nose of El Capitan. But the Huber brothers of Germany took that away, and now Yuji wants the El Cap record back. I'm going to Kanoto. It's uh, two hours from Tokyo, center of Tokyo. Many border problems. B5 to B15, 16, you know, like uh, all, all the stuff is bloody hard. <laughs> My border problem, you know, which I spent uh, three seasons. This spring, I made it. Today, you know, I try my best, but I will have a big trouble, you know. <laughs> His training regime for 3,000 feet of pure endurance speed in California is a soggy, 20-foot-long V14 boulder problem, insanely hard, worked over and over again for three long seasons. But there's another, even harder kind of harder, the dreaded, steady job. Mm -hmm. This company is about speed and efficiency. Airports, bridges, terminals, distribution centers, anything that has to do with moving things around, trans systems. See, I sponsored my coffee cup. How many hours a day do you do this? Mm, about eight. <laughs> Boulder is the most dangerous breakthrough. In the mountains of Norway, where base jumping is both legal and popular, Robert Pecknick and others have made revolutionary advances in wingsuit design and technique, and turned the sport into a game of high-speed topographic flow. From this direction. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. In free solo climbing, contact with the rock is life and the air that gives it the deadly edge. In wingsuit flying, the air is life and rock is the edge you must never touch.
How bold do you have to be to dive off a cliff and thread the canyons at the speed of gravity when you can't even see the ground? Climbing has always used courage as a tool. Running it out or going ropeless says, I believe in my skill and I'm willing to stake my life on it. Dean Potter has advanced the cutting edge of free solo climbing for so many years, he's a one-man adrenaline factory. Yoga, centering, and breathing meditations are a necessity to keep from flying away.
Alex Honnold is the coolest guy on the crags, always smooth, solid, and calm. The bold new kid in free soloing with a serious hunger for bigger and bolder. I don't know if I had a specific moment when I decided to solo Astro Man. I think I just had always thought about it since I've grown up around here hearing, hearing legends of the Stone Masters and like the, the soloing culture that's in the valley and all of like the original solos. And you know, I've always had a lot of respect for like Peter Crouch and John Backer and, and the things that they soloed like before I was born. At one time, Astro Man was the hardest free climb in the world, a breakthrough in length, endurance, and difficulty. It is seriously sustained with five pitches of 5'11", four pitches of 5'10", and more. Astro Man delivers the full mix of every kind of hard Yosemite climbing technique in one superb pitch after another. If you'd asked me in the moment while I was soloing it, like, I don't know, it'd probably be a combination of like super excited, little like, little gripped maybe. Not, not so much gripped that I'm gonna fall, but just like gripped because I've never done anything like that, you know? You're like, oh shit, I can't believe I'm actually doing it. The Swifts who soar beside this 5.11c enduro pitch leave slimy smears of fresh bird dung on the hand jams, adding another layer to the intensity. I topped out Astro Man. I was like pretty excited, pretty amped up, and uh, and I felt like I should scream like everybody always always does when they top stuff out. But like I just I just can't scream, and so I got to the top and was kind of like yeah, and then packed up my stuff and walked down. So I hiked down off Astro Man, and I, I had a little lunch and I hung out a little bit, and then I kind of got psyched to go do the rostrum because I'd always wanted to do the rostrum Astro Man link up. Since I'd done Astro Man, it only took like an hour or two or something. I was like, well shit, I might as well go add the other one. Turn off your phone, off in the zone, gone beyond through songs and poems, off of my own, playing alone, homegrown, intuition on, warrior blowing, through sound barriers known to own clones, we phone home within, we won't go the average route, as if we don't know what's happening now, the mystical glow will master the doubt, and sing you don't grow, no, believe and grow, and don't be deceived no more, build, destroy, hello, we've come for, upliftment of the soul, behold, the third eye unfolding, won't buy what's so we own close, let's go. Sometimes I let them out now I gotta get it out now To find a better route, how? Change is the only thing constant around
I like to climb big walls. <laughs> the bigger, the better. I like the exposure. I like the fact they're tall. I like climbing continuously for long periods of time. I like big pitches. I like getting high off the ground. Uh, I mean, I pretty much like everything about big walls. And then there's the most terrifying kind of boulder, the dreaded rearing of children. <laughs> what you been doing, crazies? Great, great, great. All right, we're getting pesto on. Piggy McBride, Piggy McBride. The injustice of it all welled up inside him so that he wanted to yell with fury. If it hadn't been for him, nobody would even have known Voldemort was back. The final breakthrough is faster. Speed climbing combines all the other breakthroughs. Harder, bolder, newer, creative, and damage control, and delivers them in a lightning strike of unforgiving intensity. Do you want me to go first? You yeah, go you first? can go first. I'll follow you. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, sweet. That'd be good. Nice. And then whatever you can. And I'll pass try to me. keep up with you, and then I'll go for the pass as <laughs> possible. <laughs> nice. So all variations are on, right? <laughs> It'd be sick if we could actually like do it in two thirty-six, you know, but like two minutes and thirty-six two minutes seconds. And thirty-six seconds. <laughs> Hit the belt on the top, like, and then that, fall you, off. Take that, Eugene Hans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys can have the nose. This is way better. This is way cooler. <laughs> Ready, set, go. The Nutcracker is five pitches of some of the most classic, high-quality trad climbing in the world. 600 vertical feet, and these guys burn it off in a little more than one minute per pitch. Just the wife today. Kitties we left at home. Any words of wisdom? Just pick a goal and then do it. Find a big goal. Something that's fun so you can keep doing it a lot. Hold on, Yuji. Okay. Hans, how many mm -hmm. times have you been up the nose? This will be my 68th ascent. Start off slow, go, go, go. Start out fast. Just won't last. Yeah. Okay. Ohio. 
Sun, ni, itch, go! Speed climbing is dangerous. Yes, you're roped together. And yes, there's protective hardware. But the way these guys do it, it's a long, long way in between each piece of gear. And when speed is the game, anything that slows you down is quickly cut away. And every safety element that gets cut increases the physical intensity and the risk. This is Simo climbing. No anchored belays, just a couple of pieces between them as they both swarm up the rock. If either man falls, he yanks off the other, and both go lobbing for serious airtime with a whole lot of ledges and edges along the way. Okay, Hans, no picks. leads so far out that with no pro, if he falls, he's going straight onto the edge of Texas Flake. Again, Yuji wastes no time placing pro. He's so confident, he sinks all his weight on this manky cam hook.
Oh my God, Yuji scorching. He's on fire. While Yuji staggers to the finish tree, Hans keeps going as the rope slack gets longer and longer.
With more than 60 feet of sloppy slack in the rope, if Hans falls, he smashes into the ledge below. Game over. Forty-three, thirty-three. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> what time did you get, hon? You like that? Oh, okay, now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, it's eight. Must be uh, nine thirty-eight. Good morning, eh? Good morning, eh? Now oh. we go do Lurking Fear, West Face. Yeah. Or oh, Midnight the Lightning. Hey! Nice job, man. Oh, it was so fun, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so beat the record by? Two minutes, 12 seconds. Yeah, we can make it more, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, can make it more. Can you guys more. do better than that? What? Can you guys do better? Sure. Yeah. You know. If you, you get need a, a bigger crowd. Maybe if you get a bigger crowd. Yeah. 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 <laughs> maybe train next time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right here. That's good. We're going to go break that record. See you guys watch out. We are going to break that. See you later.